thank you. You want to help me? And I, it was just really fun. I used my six, my six cube, and it was so much fun. And Brenda did take the time to make all sizes. I did a little fussy cuts. You know, my sister Patty is queen of fussy cuts. She's like this all the time, fussy cuts. But I did fussy cuts. It was really fun. And just put some of the um, same fabric in the corners. This is a little uh, flange. It's one and a half inches wide. And to top it off, bias binding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't forget the label. I was going to get to that. Ron made the label. Oh, let's show the label here. Where is Eric? Spring Baskets, Eleanor Burns Quilt in a Day, AccuQuilt Cube 6. That is very important to remember. April 2022. Thank you, Ron. It's lovely. It's beautiful. And I'm so impressed that it's stitched down. <laughs> Beautiful fabric. Well, this is the a very easy basket to do. And I, I am uh, going into Quilters Hall of Fame in July to talk about Florence Leganke Harris and her Nancy Page patterns. And we did Nancy Page in the... Um, grandmother's flower garden. All of her patterns are from the newspaper. I happen to have, thanks to all of you, almost a whole office full of the antique newspaper patterns. And I picked this one because I thought that I would show this in um, Quilters Hall of Fame in July. This is a Nancy Page pattern. The simple basket, and when Mayor gets, he's gonna print it, and I will show you a second Nancy Page basket. He's supposed to print this one for you too. I did this one on, um, oh, it was like, um, somebody tell me, you guys can all watch this. Accuquilt. That's Accuquilt, it, the go. It's Accuquilt go, but it was, um, it was a, a lesson that I did and recorded. Cubes. Pardon me? On one of the, with That's one of the cubes? Yes. Yeah. And the, oh, Merit's here. Oh, thank you. And I think this is, I don't know. Let, let's measure it. Do we have a yardstick before I drop it? It's bigger. You get to take a guess. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ooh, a nine inch. I think it's the eight. The eight. Eight is my favorite. Yeah. Darn it, I wish I could remember what the program is. Yeah, this is just like, um, this, this is one of the AccuQuilt patterns. It was probably fused, and then it's got the um, blanket stitch around the outside edge. But you see the handle is different. The handle is just a little bit different. And this is in one of the books. Yeah, so anyhow, isn't this cute with all the rickrack and everything? It's really, really cute. And you guys are going to have to um, take photographs if you want. So now you got, you got the whole story, right? Good. Are you, right? are you relaxing? Let me take a deep breath. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I do have all the baskets. Let me come over here so I can look forward and I won't block the, okay. And let's get pretty on white. Okay. Oh, it looked out good on the green? Oh, good. So you guys said this is the four inch. I still have yet. How many of you have gotten the four inch set? Yeah. Two of you? Two of you? Good. But. But it's very cute. And this beside it, let's see. So this one is the six inch. So it's really fun to see how they keep on growing. Okay, so now this would be the eight. Oh my goodness. 
And between the eight and the nine, there's not a lot of difference. Eight and nine. And then this one is the 10, 10, and take a guess. The last one is the 12. 12. Yes, you guys, come, anybody here for the first time? First time? All, all right, thank you. A couple of you. So we have these boxes of um, templates of dyes that you can pick and use the same directions. It's just what size. Teresa, could you put them on the, in a, you're making the design wall look so pretty. I love it. Okay, and do you have the six cube for me? This is the block that I made. And you know what, let's show Ron's work because I can't believe he did all this. These were the little bunnies that I was supposed to put all over my blocks. This is a die. Oh my gosh, Ron experimented with a satin stitch and the blanket stitch. Oh, wow. And this, really cool. That's cute. Cute. Very cute. And this one is adorable. I know we have, uh, we have these in our inventory. It's on the same die is the bunny, the little chick. I love the little chick. The little chick. Up, oh, you have at least one. Four or five. Four or five. Oh, let us show it. So, I'm so glad you found these. Thank you. So, this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. And if your grandchildren are younger and they would enjoy these, it would be a good idea to get them. I would hand this to you right now. It is yours. <laughs> and I bet you have some great grandchildren, too. No, I have no children, no grandchildren, no, I got the gray hair all by myself. Oh, and you're doing this for yourself? Yep. Go for it. I want the farm one, too, when you ever use the cow, the chicken, and the Yeah, pig. yeah. I want that one, too. Okay, okay, we'll get it. And she has a couple more back there if you want, really want to get it. But look at the basket is on that die. The basket, oh, Ron, I love his organization. These are the little eggs that go inside. And when you put them together, look how cute. Oh, wow. Aww. That is cute. You did a good job. Yeah, you did. You did a good job, Ron. We're, we're so glad. Look, how, look at the stitches. This took you hours. Or did you program this in? No, it took <laughs> You know, um, Ron, this probably is worth another jar of blackberry jam, huh? Oh. Yeah. They have the melon They're not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> they even brought me my old jars so I can fill them. Anyhow, those, I mean, I wanted to put some of this. See, look how cute. The little eggs would have been in my flowers, see? You could fit that right in there. And I thought it would be really cute if I had, I, I thought that this chick, little chick should go with a bigger it's basket. Like yeah, I think this is more like a 12. Don't you think? But this, look at this little bunny. Wouldn't he look cute just jumping over this basket? Yep. Off to the side. So, in lieu of older grandchildren, I fussy cut flowers. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it has a touch of softness. Yes. Okay. So, she, Teresa got my. Oh, you pulled them out already. Okay. So let's pull them out. Let's get cutting. Okay, yeah. so this I used, I used a stack of, um, I think they're half yard pieces. It, it was called Zoe Christine and I have some in my office. I would be glad to sell a couple for you if we could figure out the number and the price, Stephanie. <laughs> Look, she's running. 
It's okay. She didn't have to leave right away. But I have the the stripe. What I I wanted everything I wanted, the stripe for the binding, and I wanted the large scale flowers for my fussy cuts. And then the basket, I did the three colors. I did the turquoise, the yellow, and the, um, the magenta. And so I just thought it was a perfect, um, perfect um, package to just get into. So she went running to look and see if she could find more. All right, you are going to be using the basket that Merritt put second. This is the one, the spring basket. This is the one that I did. It's your second sheet. Okay, and this is actually taken from my first book. And it's really, I think it's really easy to understand. Oh, and I see Brenda Phillip in the four inch, for the four inch yeah, cube. Yeah. That was really cool. You put your, um, would you show your little uh, wire holder that you put all your, you know, I'm so, we have never really shown uh, the whole box, but yeah. Teresa and I find it easier to oh, put them all out of the box and just line them up in order. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The first one, so it even says on your paper, it says the basket. The first pieces are for the basket. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So I am making a six inch. You follow along for a six inch. And it says um, four and three fourths inches by four for the basket. And I think this is my piece. Okay. And, we'll, and the number, this shape, the white shape is the number of your die. So it's number three. Okay, are you gonna help me out there? Okay, let's, let's just stack them. Okay, you need to have, um, of course, you need to have the basket. This is a half square triangle. And the top, I'm gonna have to do a second one, however, for the fussy cut, but you use this and this for number three. They are the same. So I'm just putting the background and you can do up to six. You might as well do more if you want. But anyhow, you see how they fit on the die and Teresa likes to draw the quarter inch line away so she knows when we place this, we just line it up like that. Okay, so it is the white. Yeah, oh good, if that's the first good idea. <laughs> Remember that, and it really helps. So I could actually cut like a lot of baskets at one time. You could do different colors. We're gonna put two dies through at one time, so I'm just you can gonna. Cut how many layers at the same time? You can cut six, but you need both white and basket color, background and basket color. So she's gonna put a mat on top of that one and set it aside. So handles, handles. Okay, you see it written on the side? And what's the die number? Okay, this is five. This is five, and it says right here on the side, five, and it shows it's half square triangles. And on this particular one, it's you, you get one, two, three, four, if you do, I always do a pair. Look over to the side. I just want you to see on the far right of that column, it says smart stack, right sides together. That's what smart stack is, right sides together. And right now, I have a five and a fourth by six of each of them, and it says folded in half. Okay, let's see your math. If I put this on top, how many am I going to get? How many, how, many, there, how many half square triangles? There's one, two, three, four. Yes, who's the brilliant person? Look, I'm going to have eight pairs right now because I put the background and the handle color right sides together. I'm folding it in half. 
I'm putting it on top, I'm folding it in half and putting it on top, keeping it all lined up. And now Teresa's going to put the mat on the top and she's going to run two at a time. Oh, look, she's, she's moving. <laughs> this is actually the half square triangles. Okay, so I would wait and do two at a time. Get lots done, okay? Okay, so now you keep on going. And using the same five, we need to make our feet. Okay, this is, this is what I've gotten. Beautiful. At this point, I'm very cautious. To tell you the truth, I actually like to leave them right here and lift a pair off at a time, right sides together and sit in assembly line so. But they are already, uh, I need this die next for the feet, okay? So, feet, all you need for each basket is how many? Just two, two, two. so it's just one. Oh, yay, it was there, I knew it, it was there. So it's just really two, so you just need a single layer, right? Yes. And it's just a three inch square. Left the uh, salvage on, but just don't, don't let it cover the die. Okay, you just need one. Right. For one basket. But one if you basket. make two alike, so you're gonna need. I would do more if you're gonna do more. But let me tell you, um, the one thing, this is kind of light going through the cutter. There's only two layers. You can do up to six. And when you put just like one layer, sometimes it doesn't cut because there's not enough pressure to push into the blades. So I keep like um, a manila folder of cardboard and I will just lay that. Okay, I put the, the um, cutting, the mat, can I have the mat? Okay, and then I put a piece of cardboard on top to make more pressure to go down onto it. Hope that's a good second tip. Yeah, put like some, some little thing, even a couple pieces of paper are really good. We're down, clear down to the bottom. It says feet, but it's really like the um, rectangles with the feet. It's background, it's die number what? Eight. You guys are following me. You're awake. I'm so excited. So now if I have two pieces here, then that's enough for two baskets, right? You could put lots more on top. I was making, um, I think, four like. So just cover that. Wow, look at this. I'm getting all caught up. Thank you, Teresa. I'm doing get great. Okay, so put the mat on. This is your... Um, rectangles for your feet. Okay, and there's just one thing we have to go back and do now. We need a um, fussy cut. Oh, yeah. This fussy cut out of this die, it is number three. Number three, so I'm gonna take these off. This is number three. She's making me a fussy cut template. This out is of the clear. third, uh, what is it called? The third tip. She asked me to do a template, and I say, I can just cut it in the acu quilt. Yeah. I'm not going to trace it. Yeah, I cut it. Yeah. Yeah, I. <laughs> But see, I that didn't was have, a good one. I huh? like. Yeah. I'm not tracing that thing. It's like just cut it through it. <laughs> okay, so I did it with a piece of cardboard, mm -hmm. and I cut it on my um, on my AccuQuill cutter too. So now we've got to figure out. Okay, so if I'm fussy cutting, look at this. This is just beautiful fabric for a fussy cut, right? So I decided. How about this one? Let's see if it's. It's a little big. You know what? I think it's too big. Don't you think it feels clear out to? How about if we look over here? What about this one? Do you like this one? Is that okay? I think so. I think it's okay too. 
So you can use your template to just, just check it out. Okay, make sure you have your quarter of an inch seam around all sides. I like that. Okay, so then take, um, this is not, this is not a removable pen, but, right? It's removable. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just I, press it right here on the side. Just press right here. Okay, I forget. Yeah, these are, these are, yeah, they changed that. You know what? I told Teresa, mine always dry up. So I asked her if I could, if I could borrow, borrow hers. You did, it's working just fine. So this is removable. So I'm just kind of going around the edge. Yep, can you see that? And now I need a bigger pair of scissors, but how about the rotary cutter? Uh, rotary cutter and a ruler. I, I can just freehand. What did you say? Yes. So, cause I'm gonna cut it on the on the AccuQuilt cutter. Oh, okay. 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 So, if I don't quite make it, then we'll just we'll just erase it. Okay. So here we go. Here's the shape that we want for our fussy cut, the triangle. So here's the point. So I'm just going to line up the point. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm going to open it up, line up this edge. Remember, if I don't get it quite right, I can just erase it. Okay? So now I like the fussy cut. And now we're going to take a mat and cover it. And now you're going to go, woo! All these three are the same size. So she just sees medium and dark. We need a light. And I did, I just didn't even notice. I cut a light. I cut, see, I cut lights, but that's the bottom. So you need three. So just it's the layer cut part right here. Add light. You need a light. Okay, thank you for catching that. Yeah. The columns, the, we tried to get the, the shapes and all of that. We tried to do a lot of stuff, but we, we, um, we locked Dingo in the office and left him for a while, and that was a mistake. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have turned the page. I am now on sewing the handle. They are these cute little buggers that are already right sides together. Our little half square triangles. <coughs> the most important thing that I can tell you is that you need to get started right on this point. You've got to get started right on that point. And then you need to follow your quarter of an inch seam and watch where I'm going right off the end. This point is lining up with my throat plate. Can you see that? It is so important that this is the one part that you get accurate. I think it's important for everything to get accurate, but I think this is the biggest. And I always do um, a single whole throw plate so that you don't jam your machine, but you can use a jumper scrap. Um, what I was doing when I was making that quilt is that I assembly line sewed almost every color, not almost, I assembly line sewed all of those handles one at a time because it went a lot faster for me getting all of this sewing done. So. That was good. And the little quilt did not take me long. It was the quilting, you know, that I, I don't quilt. <laughs> I don't quilt. I, I'm a piecer. I like to say I'm a piecer. I'm a um, hooker because I hook you guys on quilting. 
and I do it with strips. And did I say I'm a jammer too? <laughs> I can one, two, three, four. Oh, is that it? I did not know plugger. Let's see. Okay, so that's, okay, so she's, you're going to um, go ahead. Okay, Teresa's going to uh, press those all open. Right. Oh, still didn't cut. Okay. All right. So I always sew with dark on the top so that when I go, I can set with dark on the top, open and press toward the dark. And Teresa's gonna do that really fast. She asked for a, a big iron so she could do it quick, and she does. So now I'm gonna just start grabbing them. I'm looking at the pictures beside number three. One, two, three, there's one part that has three in a row and one part that has two in a row. Here's the two, and here's the three. But I get them all laid out so that, oh yes, go, Teresa, go! And watch, they're tricky, right? Tricky, tricky, get it? Okay, so. I line them up underneath each other so that I can just take the top one, flip this right sides together, and I'm going to be very daring and do the second one. All I have to do is add the third one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and she ha gave me a little jumper scrap and I lost it already. <laughs> she gave me a big one. <laughs> It needs to be red so she can yeah. see it, <laughs> right? Neon color. Okay, so this is why now you see when this in the sewn piece. Do you see how you have to start in this point right here and end at this point right here? Very important, very, very important. And it just takes skill. When you're flying along, sometimes you just can't get that done right. Do you have to start with, with a guide on yeah, Of course I do. Really? You don't use that? I do sometimes, but even I, I prefer to be open. Okay. 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 Yeah. Triangle? Because when you open it up, they don't really go together well if you don't get that point. Okay, so I did the first two, but now this guy up here needs to have the third one added. So instead of like taking apart, stopping and cutting. I'm just cut this one that has only two in it already. Open it up. Put the, whoop, that won't work, right? Yeah. How about that? No! <laughs> there! Is that right? I did it just to entertain you. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so easy to do. Okay, so just put this one on top. All right, now, that's really, that wasn't bad, right? And now the pressing is important. If you look at the pictures by four and five, you can see the one with three Three, the seams go to the left. Okay, so just press the seams to the left. And then on the, the one with two, the seams go to the right. Okay, there are these little marks right up in here. Just the little things, the little guys, okay? And if you want to um, do it with your fingers, that's good. Okay, so now while Teresa's getting those pressed, I'm going to grab up, oh, we forgot to look at our fussy cut. We didn't look at it, did we? No. Look. Oh, yeah. It did, it came out really good. Came out really, really good. Thank you, Teresa. 
And now we need to have the basket and the fussy cut. Just the picture it just adds lots, huh? I Patty would love this. I can't wait to show Patty. <laughs> she loves those colors. She well, she loves the fussy cuts. She loves them so much sometimes, and she makes me unsew more than I get to sew because it's just not right for her. But she was in the office, I bet, already this morning, wasn't she? Well, I was locked in the garage. I think she was in here. <laughs> What a panic. <laughs> and then the next thing I thought was, oh, I forgot my curlers. They're in Julian. But then I looked in my cupboard in Carlsbad. More curlers. OK, so there we go. We got lots of um, stuff done. And Teresa's going to press the seam toward the dark, right? And again, here, you got to watch. OK, set the seam with the dark, the basket on the top. And we are ready to get that all together. All right, how are we doing? You keeping up with me? OK, now be careful on this step, because I made a mistake. <laughs> OK, if you look at the picture down on 7, you will see that I'm getting this ready to sew. So you really want to lay it out first and make sure you have it right. Right? Is it good? OK, so this one goes first. And that one has the little flippy arrow on it. Shows it first. And I'm just going to get this, put this right behind. And it's already, you need a little, little pull. It's already going to lay flat the way you pressed it. It's going to go right across there. OK, now this is like me. OK, well, I just sewed one seam. Why couldn't I sew more seams? So then this is the time that I grab the feet up, right? And now you have to put them right side up. I'm looking, Teresa. It's right. Teresa's watching me. It's right side up. <laughs> it's because you know that I've told this story before, but you know that one time. OK, so now I want to make um, a point. Let's see. OK, like this. These are the feet. And so I'm going to go like this. OK? Mm -hmm. That's up on the top column. And I always think of a point. They are mirror image. I think you should always make them as a pair. There is nothing like getting mirrored image screwed up, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing like it at all. Yeah, nothing like it. So when you flip them right sides together, then they look like this. OK, so I still have my chain going. See, I like to really chain and see how far I can sew without stopping on anything and going to the iron. So this is why I'm taking this out of order. That's why. Ah, oh, OK, well, now I'll tell you another thing. One of the reasons that maybe I have to think second is because I worry about confusing you. But see, <laughs> see, I just start and I just start cutting off the end and going on. OK, you're going to take this piece, open it up. And it, it does say something. Press toward the pressing. Oh, OK, press seams away from basket. Yeah, OK, I did it. Away from basket. You're right. How about like that? Yep. Yep. OK. Away from basket. OK. And you know I've tried it both ways, toward basket, away from basket, trying to always figure out which way works the best. OK. Cool. Thank you. 
Isn't it nice to have Teresa to just press? Okay, <laughs> one of the reasons. Okay, the one thing that's here is now this seam is going up, and whenever you put this right sides together, this seam is going down. So they lock right here. They, get, they lock all together, so you really want to get it in place. Let me see. Lock it, lock it. I'm not one for pinning. I'm kind of like feeling. Okay, since these seams are going to go down, and this is going to go up, and I'd like to really see that this one doesn't get jammed mm -hmm. and get flipped out of place. So I'm going to flip it over and start on this, on the opposite side. I've used my stiletto, get it all lined up, and check. If it's flat, it's locked. Yay. Remember that. If it's, if it's bumpy, it's probably not locked. Okay, those seams underneath are going down, so they're just going to flow right down. Okay, Woo. good. All right, my girl, we got two pressings. Now, how does this one get pressed? Away from basket. Away, away from basket. Away from basket. Oh, let me see. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Eric, you can eat their heart out. <laughs> And while you're doing the basket, we have the feet, and we're pressing the seam towards the feet. So if you, if you just set the seam with the feet on top and open, that seam will be right where you want it. Okay? Two things. Okay? Okay. There you go. There you go. And so we are just, we, we nearly have all those pieces done. Okay, see it on the back? It went away from the basket. It lays really nice. Okay, here we go. And now we need to have the um, right foot. Start with the right foot first. Mm -hmm. I think this is better than chocolate, don't you? <laughs> no, who said no? I like chocolate. You like chocolate? Okay, what's fun about this piece right here, it's blunt on the bottom, and so you just line that up so it's right like that. It matches at the top. It's really nice. Works good. Okay. Jumper. Thank you for giving me such a big one. You know, um, I, I saw a quilt that a woman always used a jumper to start, but what she did was take a little half square triangle. She took one of these pieces as her jumper and sewed it every time. She had a whole quilt of her jumper scrap. Gail does that all the time. And do you she do makes that, quilts Gail? out of it. Either a four patch or you four know. patch is cute. Yes. Right, Gail? Yeah, Gail, you, I haven't seen you for a long time. Welcome. Kind of cool we're seeing a lot of people that we haven't seen. <sighs> we are coming out. Okay, I have nothing to jump. Oh, okay. you don't have nothing to jump? Nope, I have nothing to jump. Okay, I have to do the left side, and then the only thing I have left is a white triangle for the bottom. Beautiful. Yep. Is it good? Okay, so it's going to go right here like this. Yep. Flip it right sides together. And this square, this nice little point that you had right here, you do let it hang over. Oh, you do? Yeah, see? Okay. So you line that up. You'll see whenever you, whenever you do it whenever you sew it. Okay, I'll show you whenever we get it. And 
I think at this time, because you have more seams on the back, that you want to make sure they lay flat. We haven't been cutting any threads. That's okay, right? That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to just make that little point stick out a little bit. Sometimes you have to use your stiletto and give a little tug. Sometimes you have to do bigger tugs. Put your foot on the edge of your sewing machine and pull. And that's the way it goes. Let's see. Doo -doo. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, but I only show you the good stuff. You should see what I don't show you. And I put my finger right over it. I, I know how to... Um, <laughs> okay, I want this right side up. It's coming, it's coming. And the nice thing is, if you have to sliver trim, there's not too much to sliver trim right there on the bottom. But, you know, see that? Oh, we... Been taken away. we need what the heck? Let's see if we do it. Okay, so now, look at this. These edges line up over here and here, the edges. And when you see this, you want to go right across that seam. Can, can you see in the monitor? I don't know. I, I, yeah, I know Eric's doing a good job, but I, I can never see. I like that. Thank you, Eric. Because everything just really lines up perfectly. And um, it's just great little thing. This basket is, um, it's, it's, they're both baskets are simple. I wasn't going to demo the second basket. But anyhow, it's just um, uses the six half square triangles, and you already have them. Okay, I'm holding the seams flat. Whew. All right. Ah. Okay, so now I can see what I did. It's. A, I'm going to show you what I did wrong. You're going to love it. I started, I would take this off. I left a little, I put that, didn't line that up there. So look what happened over here. It's short. Yeah, it's too short. I have to unsew that and move it over. Yeah, Teresa's going to unsew it. But look at that. But look at that. Is that good? That's good. <laughs> hang it high. Keep it moving. So we say, okay, hang it on your front door, drive it past 20 miles an hour. If it looks good, it's good. Right? Okay, so I'm going to just, I'm just going to pick them all up. Yeah. Oh, look. It's perfect now. <laughs> so... All I did was put just side and corner triangles around the outside edge on my quilt. And um, Therese, I, Brenda did such a fun job in the solid squares and the triangles. Mm -hmm. And I did not write that down for you. I thought Merritt was going to take a picture and print it out for you. But um, you can all take a picture afterwards if you want to. But the basket, both baskets are really easy to do. But I think the crown is the bias, the binding. So I made a really big one. So you should decide. There is a little chart there. It's really cute. And it says, how, how long do you make? You need to measure your outside edge to find out how much length you need for your bias. And when you know, then you make a square so that you can cut bias strips out of that size. Can you see that? Let's just say I need 220 inches. 220 inches. Well, I don't have quite enough, 
Let's see, this big old piece is, okay, it's 18 inches. I, maybe I can get it out of 18 inches, huh? I'm just assuming that it's big enough. Okay, so now I want, and yeah, I need to have a ruler. I'm gonna get the 18 inch ruler and basically cut a square. I, How am I doing time-wise? I, time I did not want to give you the super big one. Are you okay using this? <laughs> Why that, not? That's the one up there. That's the one. Okay. Okay, and a rotary cutter. Yeah, right. Okay, here. the reason I'm cutting 18 inches is because the um, length of it is already 18 inches. I'm going to cut the width now into 18 inches. So I have this mega square. So what do you think? 18, okay. Yeah, you don't need this ruler very often, but when you need it, it's quite helpful. So I cut a square, and the next thing you do is cut, cut it in half. Would you want me to give you the six by 24? Yeah, it would be better. Okay. <laughs> How about the six by twenty-four? Okay. Oh, okay. Bring up, bring it up to the um, TV camera and show. Okay. I this is um, my tri My square is longer, so I'm using the forty-five degree line on the left, and then I'm going to cut here. Come right here beside me, okay? Yes, and put it under the camera so you can show everybody. Smile real pretty. You're on TV. Thank you. Okay, if you can step right into that spot. There you go. Oh, how cute. It is all springy. It's very And there's cute. some flower. So there's some large scale, some little plaids, some small scale. Ooh. I think this would be very cute. And then over here, I'll reach over you. Okay. Here's an example. Whoops. You didn't know you were going to do this. I did not. <laughs> Here's an example of one of the prints. You always have to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Be prepared, be camera ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It is very pretty. It I is love sweet. It. And I it, love you it. know what? It feels good to use springy colors right now. It's just like, just, it's just so great. Okay. Now we have two halves, right? Cut on the diagonal. All right, that's the first step, flue. Now, we're gonna leave one of them. Let's see. We're going to turn this. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna turn this one over. Okay, you know what? The pictures all look different than what I was looking at this morning. Okay, so I need to put it right sides together, so. I'm going to put this one like this. Okay. 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 So, I'm leaving this one right side up. Okay. And now I'm going to turn this one wrong side up. I'm on the picture by two, and I'm going to slide it over. You know what? I, yeah, it's going to work. Yeah, and you know what? I I I I laid it a little different. I don't even have to match it this time. The stripes were going up and down this morning, but this time they're going across. And watch this. When I sew this together, I don't even have to match stripes. So make sure your stripes go left and right. Okay? Now, you have to leave this little tip hanging out on one side, a quarter inch, and a little tip on the other side, a quarter of an inch. And then you just sew this together. Okay? Looking good? All right. And Teresa is going to show you she has the two and a fourth inch die. That two and a fourth. Two yes. and a fourth inch die. Yes. 
for cutting bias on the AgUquil cutter. And um, yeah, it's, you know, these dies, if you've never used them, you just go, how do you in the heck that? I didn't understand it in the beginning, but it, it works really good. And I love it for cutting my strips. All right, down, down, down. Okay, now I don't think the directions say this, but I decided I like to press my seams open at this point. Does it say that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's geometry. Look, see, look at that. Can you even see that seam? Isn't that cool? Okay, let's see. Look at that. Give me your, give me your, um, no, give me your, um, we're not going to do the second page. Get rid of it. Because I thought this was really cool. I want to cut it on the AccuQuil cutter. I agree. It's a whole, I done it, but it's a whole thing. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I think all you have she to says do. The, that's how I had it out. If you fold it, you still have a strip there. Yeah. And then on the other side, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, you can do it that way on the... Yeah. You just have to piece your strips. You have to piece them. And this other one is like one continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that correct? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's read right. It. <laughs> that's right. Ne mm -hmm. we, none of us remember how to do it. Okay, so let's see. If it's going to cut... And this looks really wide. Is it only two and a? I don't. I don't it's know. Two and a quarter out, and you can do that. It looks really wide. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna fold this little guy over. We're gonna. We're gonna make history right here in front of you. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. If Eric, if this doesn't work, we're not going to air it on TV. <laughs> okay? You're going to edit that part. Yes. Okay. So I folded it in. If we would have used a smaller square. Okay. Now give me your mat. Okay. And we're going to look. And we're just going to go everybody Cross your fingers and hope to die. <laughs> okay, hold your breath. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like to dance while it goes through a little exercise. Stand and do a little. Are you curious? Are you anxious? I'm, I'm, interested, I'm interested to see. About that bottom corner being folded Yeah, I was a little worried about it too. Let me look first, okay? Okay, rub it. Get rid of the friction. We're nearly all done. There we go, Al. Okay. Okay. Be interesting. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Okay. That looks good. Okay, there's a little thread here, right here that we have to cut. The suspense increases. <laughs> Ta-da! One! <laughs> Two! <laughs> and we would do this. Oh, look at this match. Oh! Is that nice? We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, we got this funny little thing down no. here that was kind of hanging over. Don't worry. I'm just going to cut it. Don't look. It's just... Okay, that, that's gone. Ooh. One more little cut. I was hanging a little over too much, but I'm just cutting straight. That's three. Let's see if it still locks. See if it all lines up. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, is that good? Ah ha ha ha! It's right. Is it? Yes. Yes. That's four. And this one is the last one. And it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, look. Is that cool? Wow. Throw away the last page. <laughs> Big action. But now, now you have to go. But this stripe is just fine. It just really works fine. They, they almost line up that you can't even see them. But when you do sew them, remember, you have to let that tip, those tips um, actually have to um, stick out on the ends. And I want to see. Yep, and see. Yeah, it should work. It should work. Well, it does work. It's just that the other way, you do not sew it together. You had sewn it earlier. Yeah. But this one, you have to piece all your strips, but they're longer. Yeah, but yeah. They're, they're longer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that works good. Oh my goodness, and so then you just put it, fold it in half like this and just sew it like regular binding. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yay. Cool. So, I would just cross through that second page. I might, I might try to understand it later, but. <laughs> when I did it at home, I thought, well, this is really cool.